Today we take a look how we can change the wall thickness gradually. Let's take this envelope here, put the density field in and check out the result of the density field. This is what I showed you before, that we can vary the density. If we take it up a notch, we can add a thickness field represented by these magenta colored points here. I can add different field points by using this add field point command and choose between thickness, density, cavity, surface bias, thickness, asymmetry. To place a new thickness point, I could enter here, select the point uh, value and place it in the viewport. can then go ahead and change the value by either double clicking on it or by going to this text point editor. I can also group together two points so that they work together and I can change the value for both points in this group. Here you see a very fine distribution of thickness. If you check out the result, you see that we have a variable thickness and a variable density field. Let's hide that thickness field to take a look. So from 0.2 millimeters up to 0.6 millimeters, we can gradually fade the thickness. Of course, we can in the midst here change our values however we want. I hope you liked that video. See you next time.